my friends and I were having a couple of drinks and my friend just said, what kind of charcoal do you use? I said, oh, I use Japanese soap. He said, hey bro, burning oak ah! Then I, wow, very pretentious. I think that was the best name we got, so we just stuck with it. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm the owner of Burning Oak and uh, we've been operating for about four to five years now. Burning Oak, we are a donburi place, which is rice and meat on top. So what we really specialize in is chargrill meats. We use only Japanese charcoal and wood charcoal to grill all our items. We are selling quite a lot of upscale things in such an environment. We actually started with skewers. And now we have only one skewer, which is our short rib skewer. Like. The idea was conceived when I was walking in the streets of Japan with my parents. We saw this place owned by a Japanese and he knew all his guests. He knew exactly what they wanted when they came in and I wanted to create something similar here. When we first started, it was challenging. A lot of people were very skeptical about this place. Waste of my money, be prepared to close, ah. you service our things. I think a lot of motivation comes intrinsically where we see that we can produce results that nobody thought that we could take what you think is constructive from this hating and apply it effectively to yourself. Ultimately, it's a hidden gem to them. Yeah, it's like a surprise find in such an area. The charcoal itself, when it burns, it burns at a higher temperature. So everything is nicely seared and the smoky flavour is different. A lot of people say this is a taste of earlier times. I found out that I liked cooking when I was 14. It was difficult to come out as someone that wants to pursue this. My parents and I explored the option of going to a culinary program. For me, it was I was pretty certain that I was going to follow this path all the way. But I guess I knew what I wanted to do since I was 14. Every hawker has a story. And it just so happens that I'm younger. Young people should pave the way for other younger people to let them see that actually it's doable. I encourage more young people to explore the option of being a hawker, to push boundaries of what a new age hawker centre could be because there's a lot of emphasis on younger generations being a food entrepreneur. I want to be a farmer. Like for real, for real. For someone that really likes to cook, I think it's important for me to get in touch with the produce, the livestock, the whole chain that I'm not currently exposed to. It gives a deeper sense of appreciation of people who are actually doing this. You learn to treasure the ingredients more. I think really that's the ultimate goal, you know, just to you know, rear some chickens, feed some pigs, pet some cows, and water some plants. <laughs>